अच्छा रिकॉर्ड तो स्टार्ट करें दिसे रिकॉर्ड होते हैं अपन स्क्रीन शेयर करें दी आगे दिन एक टेक क्लास की सिलाई ना तुम्हें मैट्रिक्स ने किस रूप में अच्छा सो आज के अम्रा पूर्व होच्छे सो टुडे वे आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कैलकुलस for machine learning and AI and this is the first day so this is also one of the uh, important uh, ground for mathematical concepts uh, which is needed for machine learning so today we will talk about uh, derivatives and optimization so uh, I would like to uh, portray the speedometer example and after that we also gonna discover so many concepts like constant function, linear function, quadratic, polynomial, exponential function, logarithmic function and uh, we also gonna learn derivatives of those functions. Uh, to determine the derivative, uh, we're gonna use so many um, rules like sum rule, product rule, chain rule, multiplication by scalar, etc. So, uh, why derivatives and calculus is important in machine learning? okay so when you are going to uh, optimize the function you will need derivative uh, which means uh, the value is maxima maximum or the minimum uh, you need to when you need when you are going to determine those you will need this function and it's important in machine learning because when you want to find the model uh, fits for your data or not this is the best possible way you do this by calculating loss function and minimize it we are going to also we are also going to learn this uh, ahead and uh, loss functions are uh, square loss and log loss we are also going to uh, see them uh, later uh, okay next let us let's start off with an example uh, okay so basically suppose you have uh, some uh, rooms where you have the uh, like you will have to predict the price of a house using the number of bedroom it has basically we are going to uh, predict the price of the uh, nine bedrooms uh, house uh, no you did not i just start i just started okay so basically uh, suppose you made uh, like suppose we will made a uh, we will build a machine learning model which will predict this price okay let's moving on um so actually i'm sorry i drew it with my hand uh, anyway so suppose these are the uh, room number uh, I mean the bedroom num numbers of the bedrooms 
and these are the prices and i just pointed the uh, index here and in the next slide okay in the next slide uh, so we we are uh, basically predicting we are trying to predict this uh, nine bedrooms uh, house price so uh, when model training so for this we need to train the model first so this is the process so when we uh, uh, start model training uh, it starts with a random line it uh, then uh, suppose like it it goes with the near near with the uh, like near of the uh, points and next we have okay next uh, it takes the result in order to optimize the best possible prediction for existing data points and remember uh, our main uh, aim is to like uh, to get something which is optimum and like uh, which is more i mean which is more optimizing so when the training so basically it's uh, going with the uh, going through the points and in the next slide in the next slide we can see that it is uh, going through uh, basically this is this is passing through the most number of points here and this and it intersects here like so it is indicating that this is the best possible price for nine bedrooms and uh, next we have um okay so the problem we just saw this is called linear regression problem uh, and how this training happens we will find out later we will see that later so this is how we predicted the price of uh, nine uh, bedrooms house and okay so there are a lot of uh, math com concepts that used in training a model such as uh, gradients derivatives optimization loss and cost function gradient descent we are going to see see this uh, throughout the courses uh, we we will uh, we are going to learn model training and optimization and uh, how it works at the core with math we will see okay so now i'm now i'm going to talk about uh, concepts of derivatives with an example of uh, I mean, by the example of instantaneous velocity. Uh, okay. Uh, so basically, uh, okay. So an instantaneous velocity is uh, suppose you you have suppose a car is moving uh, at some times uh, suppose it's uh, moving for one hour and uh, in this whole time uh, for some distance it went so fast uh, for some distance or for some time being uh, it went so slow uh, I'll, I mean like ups and down not constant not something constant so in that case if i ask that um, in a specific or in a given time what was the velocity like suppose i'm saying in 12.5 second like i'm uh, directing i'm pointing out a specific second like instant instant uh, time so uh, the velocity of that time will be instantaneous uh, velocity so basically a derivative 
is the instantaneous rate of a change of a function uh, so here function is the distance the function would be distance distance and uh, its derivative will be velocity velocity okay so uh, we know uh, so we know there is a s equal to vt so the velocity v is equal to s by t so s is the distance i'm meaning and t is the time okay so moving on um suppose we have okay uh suppose we have uh a list of time and uh, i mean like a car is moving and uh, i'm taking notes of uh, every five second of uh, that car i mean i'm calculating suppose we have a like uh, we have a chart of i don't know the okay so this is our time and here we have the distance that is covering every five seconds for one minute duration suppose it's meter uh sorry for bad handwriting right now okay so suppose we have to be time zero for zero uh five okay uh we also have like a 50 55 60 i'm not writing that anyway suppose we have that and here we have uh for five second the distance covered by 36 meter then we have uh 122 two, 202 265 okay i'm losing the For 25, we have 351. Okay, uh, we will not need the rest of the things. Um, okay, so now my question is, uh, is this car moving at constant speed? Basically, uh, if i ask is this car moving at constant speed but uh, we can see that this car is not moving at constant speed because the uh, interval we have the uh, distance interval is not the same uh, 
for example 10 to 15 second uh, it's it covers 202 minus 122 equals to 80 meters whereas uh, for 15 to 20 second it covers 265 minus 202 equals to 63 meters so this indicates one thing uh, from 10 to 15 minutes 5 seconds interval like it it was going so fast but then uh, after 5 seconds it becomes a uh, slow i mean the distance indicates that so it means that that the car was not moving at constant speed so now if if i ask in the given data from this given data um, can we extract the value of the velocity at exact uh, i mean the instant velocity that i was talking about at 12.5 second the answer would be no uh, we cannot determine with the data given uh, because that 10 to 15 second uh, interval 10 to 15 second interval we have the 12.5 so in that specific second that car might be go might go fast or it might uh, move slowly we do not know that so but what we can get from it is we can get average okay we can get average velocity but we cannot get exact uh, velocity at 12 12.5 second so what was the average uh, okay so average velocity of car uh, on the interval from 10 to 15 second we are going to see that let me count my graphic okay so Why people are coming? Ah, okay, so let me suppose we have a graph like this control Z. Let me draw a graph. Suppose we have this, and uh, and this. Okay. So my x axis is my time, and y-axis will be distance okay so time interval was 5 10 15 20 25 30 etc 
second and my distance uh, suppose we have the distance of uh, this is y okay so suppose we we had a we had a try time interval that we saw uh let me see sorry so we we will work with this uh 10 to 15 interval so for 10 seconds uh the distance was covered 122 meter and for 15 seconds the distance was covered 202 meter so we we are going to uh draw them here okay so suppose we have a point here in, in 10 122 and suppose we have a point here at 15 for suppose here uh, it's 15 second and 202 meter okay so uh, straight line would be something like that so we are drawing a graph a slope and this slope is going to be the average velocity something like that okay so this is this is rise this is rise i mean uh change in distance change in distance and uh this is run uh, i mean change in time okay so my slope will be slope will be rise by run is equal to del x by del t i mean this and this del x is uh, from this distance to this distance so if i calculate this this would be uh, 15 minus x of Ten and t of fifteen minus t of ten, and next is so one twenty two, and it's fifteen second minus ten second, so it is sixteen meter per second. So this is basically uh, average velocity in the time interval from 10 second to 15 second but now uh, we actually getting a average speed here but we are not getting that instantaneous velocity at uh, specific 12.5 uh, second uh, that we actually looking for so suppose if we have more redefine more defined i mean refined data like uh, suppose we have more, more data for We have the okay. So suppose we have some data like for ten second it covers one twenty two meters. For eleven second it covers one thirty eight meter. For twelve it's one fifty five. For 13 it's 170 and for 14 it's 180 okay
Okay, so we were looking for at time interval 12.5. So we can uh, work with this interval from 12 second to 13 second. And now we have the more re refined data like uh, one second interval time. So can we find a good estimate of the velocity of the car at time t equal to 12.5 using this data let's see so if i calculate this loop here uh, it's del x by del t so it will be 170 minus 155 one second so the slope will be 15 meter per second. So we still uh, don't have estimate of the velocity at exact 12.5 uh, second, but uh, we can uh, get a finer to finer interval. I mean, what I'm trying to see, trying to project is that uh, so when when we when we took 10 to 15 interval we got uh, 16 meter per second and when we try to more refine data we got uh, 15 meter per second it indicates that the more refined data you take the more uh, I mean the more you optimize it the more it will give you uh, what to say I mean more perfect prediction i mean the finer the intervals the better the estimate is and that leads to the derivative which we we will see ahead okay so next we will see derivatives and changes and the what's that it's that for the okay so you're draw i'm drawing a graph suppose uh, we have a point here like 12.5 second and suppose we are we have uh, here we have suppose 155 so this is our x i mean the distance and this is the time interval time basically so suppose my graph is like that something like this Basically, it indicates the, uh, I mean, the car is not moving at constant speed. Some Sometimes it's going slow, sometimes it's uh, running faster, sometimes then it's slow, something like that. So, suppose we have a point here. And uh, next, uh, basically, instantaneous velocity is uh, hard to calculate, but we can estimate the possibility basically that what i'm trying to project so uh let's take another point here suppose we we have uh, okay let me ah Okay, suppose we have a point here, another point. So as we saw, the slope will be something like something like this, and uh, the straight line will go like this. Okay, so. 
if i try to take points at a very 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 close interval like this 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 the slope will start to decrease like uh wait it will be like at one point it will be like so small like so small like it will be like this point this point then it's like this point this point i mean to say like i'm closing the distances i mean uh, i'm taking points at very small interval very small interval like this so this is something like uh as we saw before like del x by del t uh then it this is something like del x by del t I mean, for very small del x by del t, for very small interval, then we will get the derivative dx by dt. So we are taking so close points that we can even tell we cannot even tell the distance between the two. I mean very small tiny so uh, we get the limit from here which is dx by dt uh, sorry. okay so we are getting the limit which is uh, dx by dt which is precisely the tangent line to the curve at uh, 12.5 seconds so this will be something like okay So at one point, this will be something like this. I mean, very small. Like I cannot even count the like this. The tangent line will be like this, and the interval is very much uh, close or small that we saw previously. Like if we take very close distance or very uh, small distance i mean very tiny so we will we will get something like this at one point 12.5 it's t uh, so this meter uh, how fast distance is uh, changing with respect to time is called instantaneous rate of change and it is the slope of tangent line basically this is what i was trying to project the whole time this is what i was trying to make you understand uh, the measure how fast the distance is changing with respect to time like this 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 like very small tiny tiny portion uh, uh, so this is called the instantaneous rate of change and uh, which is also called which is also called derivative that what was our class about today and uh, so basically uh, this is all for today. Today's class was all about the concept of derivatives. Uh, I think I took very short time today. The session was so short time. I mean the duration was so short. But uh, as this was the very first class of uh, calculus for machine learning and AI. So I took i intended to take a small session on the first class and from the next session we are going to learn more deeply 
and I will cover the rest of the uh, topics. So that's all for today. Let me stop.